Hey guys, on your channel today we're going to do Doghouse Boogie by C6 Steve. Intro. <laughs> hey guys, as I said today we're going to do Doghouse Boogie by C6 Steve. To everybody who has subscribed, thank you very much. Uh, to those who haven't, if you're liking the content, please consider it. Um, tap the bell, share with your friends and uh, hit the like button. This is a different tuning today. It's G, low string. G, middle string. And B, high string. So what I do, I brought the D string, the middle string up to G. Uh, the G, D, I brought it up to G. So bring it up slowly and then you bring your high G up to B and bring that up slowly too just in case your um, strings break so it's G G B so we'll break this up into a couple of parts so the first bits the intro so it's harmonics on the low string on the 12th middle string open and then slide up to the sixth fret on the high string and then same again to five. Same again to four. He's playing a um, a claw, a claw um, strum pattern, and I'll do a whole lesson on that very shortly. So he's really belting down on the strings and hitting the middle string, and your thumb comes down onto the low string. So to try and emulate that with a pick to make it easy for everybody, I'll just play upstrokes. And we're really concentrating on the middle string. And we're not hitting the high string at all. So it's middle string and then just coming up and just hitting the high, a low string. And then it's all string, all three strings to the three, third fret. So that's five, three, open. So now the next bit, he's singing in the doghouse boogie. So he's just hitting the third fret on the low string only. So, and you'll hear when I go from the low to the middle, so it's. That's, that's the sound of your middle string. So just listen to that and you'll know when to go to it. Also in that, he's also, you'll hear a... So he's playing all three strings and he's just sliding up to the sixth on the high string. So plays the middle and the high string on the twelfth. So 
So that's the whole song. Uh, the best bet would be actually to listen to him playing it, and then you'll be able to find out where all the pieces go, and then uh, play along that way. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. See you at the next lesson.